Hi, this is Eric with mobilemusthave.com and new for 2022, we've got the brand new Balance 20X that now has an integrated category seven cellular modem. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. So this Balance 20X is not necessarily designed for mobile use, but a lot of our customers do use it for mobile connectivity because it has a lot of features that uh, some of our other devices do not have that are made for mobile use. I think it was about two years ago when the Balance 20X came out. And when we started getting wind about it, we were super excited because it had a couple things that a lot of devices at similar price points simply didn't have. I mean, this was basically a sub $600 device and it had a lot of cool stuff. Mainly, it had an integrated switch. So we had access to wire up additional uh, wired devices. It had a USB WAN port here on this side so we could add additional cellular uh, devices uh, in addition to the one that's built into it. And then it had a mini flex port here to add additional expansion capabilities, all in a device that was really inexpensive, you know, sub $500 when it came out. We were super excited and the kind of one lacking thing that kind of bummed us out was that they launched this with an embedded, like you kind of see at the bottom here, there's SIM card slots right there, a category four cellular router. And for those of you guys who kind of follow how the technology works, category four uh, was a, I mean, basically your iPhone from 2007 that was launched, like right when Steve Jobs was there saying, welcome to the new iPhone, that was in the category four cellular router. So when we saw that, we were like, oh, it has such potential, but we really wanna see that integrated mobile uh, modem inside the device, you know, step it up so that we could use it for mobile connectivity. They've delivered with this new category seven variant. So before we get into the walk around and kind of what's going on, let me tell you a little bit about category seven. So category four has like four cellular bands, I think maybe five, sorry if I'm wrong. You can check the spec sheet on the original Balance 20X. We'll put a link to the, the original and the category seven down below, but very, very limited. Just basically the primary cellular bands uh, with category four. When you get into category six, you started to see a lot more bands, but category seven is really what rounds out now for 2022, this device to really connect to just about any of the major cellular networks and really perform. In addition to all the primary expansions that you would have gotten with a category six, category seven steps it up and gives you access to three bands that really matter right now as these cellular companies are buying up additional cellular spectrum to improve their coverage and their performance. The first band that I want to tell you about in that category seven is band 14. Band 14 is AT&T's first net first responder band. Uh, they, through a partnership or through a contract with the government, were able to roll out uh, a 700, six to 700 megahertz rural uh, cellular band that gives them a lot of broad, broad, broad coverage. It's reserved for first responder priority use, but when first responders aren't using band 14, you can use it as an AT&T customer as they open it up to the public. So it is something that it is responsible for a lot of the rural coverage you see on AT&T coverage maps. So prior with that category four embedded device, you, your embedded modem, you weren't able to get access to band 14. Category seven, in addition to giving you FirstNet band 14, gives you two other bands that we wanna kind of highlight. There are additional ones, but the two big ones we wanna talk about are band 66 and band 71. Those two bands are a big deal if you're a T-Mobile customer. Uh, a lot of T-Mobile's rural uh, network runs on band 71. It's a low frequency band that travels very, very far. And if you're looking, at that coverage map and it says you should have signal, but you were in a category six or category four device modem uh, prior and you didn't get any signal, it's most likely because that coverage in that area was provided on band 71. Band 66 is a higher frequency band. It has a lot more bandwidth and it's a band that's kind of essentially, it's, it's one of the backbone you know, bands for T-Mobile. It's a very important band. So you wanna make sure you have, if you're thinking about T-Mobile, you might be looking at like our P800 plan on our website um, or one of our other T-Mobile um, plans. Those, uh, those bands 66 and 71 for T-Mobile are really important and they are included now in that category seven modem. 
doing a quick overview of what's included in the box. We've obviously got the Balance 20X. We have an AC adapter here with a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector on it. We've got two Wi-Fi antennas and two cellular antennas. We've also got a GPS antenna here with a six foot lead, um, a little quick start guide that tells you about kind of how to hook up the antennas and how to get initially into the management console, and then a little bit of wire management tape. Uh, the instructions that come in this box are highly limited. There is a detailed instruction guide you can get on Peplink's website, but for most of our customers, as soon as you purchase, we'll send you a link to quick start guides on how to get all of this set up and up and running. You can also look at those guides at guides.mobilemusthave.com. All right, so let's take a look at the device itself. Uh, we have a WAN port, so we have the ability to wire in an external uh, internet source. This is very common for customers to wire in Starlink or a cable modem if they have that uh, or something else for wired internet access. That WAN port is key. We've got our four LAN ports here. Uh, LAN meaning for local devices. And the Balance 20X is one of the first devices that has the ability to actually unlock one of these LAN ports as a second additional wired WAN port using the optional WAN port license. So there's a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of what you can do with these ports. Um, but there are some licensing fees to unlock some of those additional features. Uh, we've got dual band Wi-Fi here. So this is two gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi um, that will transmit the wireless to your local devices. Same as the original Balance 20X. And then we've got our GPS port. There's four small screws here that cover the flex module or mini flex module slot. Uh, right here, I've got a, uh, this is a 5G one actually, I believe, uh, little flex module, as you can see here. And that would slide right into the device in this blank slot and give you a second uh, cellular modem. So even though you've got that category seven in there, this would give you the ability to expand and add a 5G cellular modem or a category 20, category six, category 12, really based on your budget and what you wanna do. There's a bunch of flex modules that you can add, which will give you the integrated uh, two cellular modems in this device. Because this is a prime care device, that means it includes speed fusion. So if you are gonna add a flex adapter like that, you can bond the integrated cellular, you can bond the flex module, and if you wanna add a third cellular option, via USB, this is a max adapter. This is a category 12, but they make these up to 5G. You can integrate that via this USB port. So for that, that really inexpensive price point, kind of sub $600, you could have three cellular connections and SD-WAN bonding to bond those connections together, all with this tiny little device. It's got a ton of expandability. Looking at the other side of the device for a second, I'm getting a little carried away with everything I got on the desk. Over here, we've got our two cellular antenna ports for that category seven uh, embedded modem, and then that USB port. We've also got a status Wi-Fi and cellular light for our customers. Cellular will be solid green, and that's going to be the embedded one. If you get a flex module, they actually will include their own lights on the flex module, so you can see both uh, modems and kind of what's going on. But status will be solid green. If the device is on, it'll be blinking green if it's booting up um, or if it's doing a firmware update or it'll be solid red if it's like in the very initial uh, part of boot or if there's a problem, it'll be solid red. Wi-Fi will be on if your wireless is transmitting locally and then your cellular, like I said before, will be solid green if you're connected to cellular or blinking green if it's trying to connect to the cellular network. One thing to note, the Balance 20X does not have Wi-Fi WAN, meaning you cannot connect to an external like campground Wi-Fi as an internet source. They really didn't build that into the Balance products. These were sort of initially made for small office, branch office connectivity, where you'd plug a cable modem into one of these and then you'd have all the cellular redundancy to ensure you always stayed connected. For us actually, in our some of our corporate headquarter offices, including here, we actually do use these Balance 20Xs for our offices. It's great when our cable modem goes down, we can still access via the cellular. Um, so it is, it is not necessarily just for um, mobile use. If you're looking for a really, really solid device that can do site to site connectivity with like a headquarters or a secondary office or different offices, we use these all the time. And the site to site connectivity to connect multiple locations is so easy to set up. It's just 
a couple clicks. It's really what makes PepLink, uh, PepWave products, uh, you know, stand out in my opinion. For a complete list of specifications on the Balance 20X, go ahead and hop over to the listing page, which will be linked in the description of this video, and click on the documentation tab, and that will bring you to a full detailed specification sheet that'll tell you everything else you wanna know about this device. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about this product or any product on our website, please make sure to reach out via chat in the bottom right hand corner to speak to a representative. You can also email us at info at and we will see you on the road. Thanks so much for watching.